Hi everyone, I wanted to take just a minute and share with you kind of my unboxing of this leather that just came in. Uh, this is from Amazon, it is an Amazon Prime purchase and these are leather scraps. If you are starting to cut genuine leather yet, uh, starting to cut genuine leather, uh, this might be a good way to get started. So I thought I'd just kind of go through and show you what comes in this assortment. Um, and I also thought I'd show you what's on the back. That's always what's uh, really, I'm really curious about when I'm shopping for the leather is, you know, what does this look like? So now on these assortment packs, they might vary a little. Um, like if you look at the picture, I'm going to link up this kit into the comment section and I will also, uh, probably do a, a posting on my website where I can show some of the earrings that I make with it. Um, but if you compare it to that Amazon site, you'll see a lot of them are the same and some are different. Um, the back of these, it's really soft. Although I feel like the back of some of them aren't as soft, so I just want to show you what all is coming in here. The thing I love is there's so many different items for, I don't know, I think I paid around $20 maybe for it, and I can get a lot of different earrings. I love the texture. This is one of my favorite, actually. This red is so pretty. Here's the back of that one. This is really soft. This bright and shiny silver is just so soft and pliable. I think that one's really nice. This actually, the funny thing is, it's the same, but this one feels thicker. Oh look, they, are, they aren't the same, because look at the back of those. They look very different. Front looks the same. Here's another um, with this texture. Now one thing you'll wanna watch as you're cutting earrings is if you're cutting two, let's say they're bars, you, would, you wouldn't want to grab one bar from here and then the other bar from here. Those earrings wouldn't look like they match. When you're using the scraps, you just kind of want to look at the textures on the pieces. Like I'd probably do one bar from over here and another bar from over here. Or I would do like two small leaf shapes on top of each other. And so as you're planning your earrings, you just want to think through that. This is another great example. Like I can do earrings from this top part and you really have to look at the measurements on your mat um, when you're, you know, where you put your leather compared to where your earrings are cutting. And then I'd have some earrings out of this, but you just, it would look kind of funny if you had one of this and one of this, it just wouldn't quite look like they went together as well. Love this color. This is a beautiful color, super soft genuine leather there. There's a piece of white. And again, it might vary a little. This was kind of interesting, this piece of leather right here. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this, but there's some really fun colors. I was thinking I might do like a really big round earring with a cutout in the middle. I love the big round ones, and these are such fun colors um, that that could be really cool. This great red leather right here. Love the coloring on the back of this one too, so nice. They just keep coming and coming, it's so much fun when you get these scraps. Ooh, this one's really soft, really, really soft on the back. Oh, I love it. Um, and you'll just wanna read, like when you go to this item on Amazon, just read it, it kinda talks about genuine leather and how you know some parts of this won't be usable. Um, that's very normal when you're working with genuine leather. Here, this black is really pretty. This one's not soft, like on the back, it's just not very soft, it's a little harder. Um, but still, very nice, very pretty. And then I love this bright, it's not really bright, it's kind of more of a more of a fallish color orange, but it's super pretty. And then this is this great pink. I'm like, oh, this would be great for Valentine's Day, maybe doing a heart or something. These would be great for bar earrings. The texture of these knobs are just awesome. Um, this, I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do with this. Um, it looks kind of like paneled wood. Um, I don't know. I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do with this one. You probably won't see any earrings real soon with that. And then this is another uh, snakeskin looking uh, piece of genuine leather. 
So that is my box. I am just really, really excited about everything that I got in here and all of the fun earrings that I'm gonna be able to make. I thought I would show you just cutting this leather on the mat, um, kind of what that might look like. You see here, got these teardrops kind of in a random place. You are, when you put these scraps on the mat, notice right here I made a mistake. You are needing to measure out where your scraps are compared to whether you're, where your leather is. And I have lots of cuts, but I wanted to show you this intentionally um, just to show how you can make mistakes. So I didn't double check my lines. I was an inch off. Um, and so you just got to make sure you get your mats lined up the right way. Now it did cut really well and it's always fun to see. I mean, it's really pretty leather and you can see that from the front, but it's fun when you cut it, you can just see how cute and great that that leather looks on the shape of your teardrops. Now here you see, I'm trying not to pull my leather up. I'm just gonna keep it down and I am going to keep cutting shapes on this piece of leather until I have used it all. Now I did do this initial cut because I wanted to make sure it cut well. I didn't wanna do a whole sheet and then find out like my setting wasn't right or something. So I first just cut the teardrops and then I came back and started cutting these additional shapes. I just used the regular Cricut Genuine Leather Cutting. Um, you could always do um, like the metallic leather if you have something thicker. I didn't use that on anything that I cut today. And that setting really worked well for me. Now I did send this through yet again. Um, through the Cricut machine and I decided to cut. I looked at the space I had left to kind of evaluate what I could fit and I did end up cutting. I sent it through again and you'll see here I cut some additional bars. I cut some triangles that I'm gonna do on some split earrings. Um, I cut some little, I don't know if you'd call them like teardrop shaped, that can go on another set of earrings. So I just like to, when I'm coming in to do this, before I throw it away, I just want to make sure I've used everything that I possibly can from this piece of leather. And here you can see the cuts that I made out of this one scrap sheet of leather. Um, again, it really is pretty simple. You just have to use your the lines that are both in the Cricut um, design space and then you also need to use those lines on your mat to make sure that wherever you have the leather uh, that matches up to where the Cricut design space shows that the cuts will happen. This piece cutting here is probably one of the thickest pieces of genuine leather that were in this kit for the leather earrings. And I was really surprised how well it cut. After I started, I questioned myself thinking maybe I should have used a different setting, maybe like the metallic uh, leather. Now you will notice when I pull it, the two of the earrings completely uh, cut perfectly from this piece of leather and then the other two had one tiny tiny place at the top that you can just see here I just had to snip come in and snip with scissors I tried to cut a few different pieces of different thicknesses just to show you um, on the Cricut mat how it cut just to give you a sense of this leather and how it works since it's not the Cricut leather how the cuts would work on these mats and um, I think you can see here that they really did cut very nicely on this particular one all four of them cut right out nothing needed any snips or anything and um, it was really just that one sheet that was a little thick and I knew that going into it that you know, that might have been one that I should have set on that metallic leather only because the metallic leather is a little bit thicker and that might have cut it a little bit better. So here are some of the items that I did cut quickly today um, from this pack of genuine leather that I got on Amazon, uh, Amazon Prime. Um, this is that one that I showed you was thicker. There's a few like this in the pack. Still cut really nice. I just had to make one little snip on that. Um, this is another piece, but I just wanted to show you really how nicely, um, how nicely these cut. Here's a couple that you could stack. 
Um, people really like the curves. These curvy DIY leather earrings have been really popular. Probably one of my most popular on my website. Um, and then just simple bars. It's amazing how cute bar earrings can be when they have texture um, to them. It's really simple. Um, the other nice thing about the bar earrings is you can adjust them when you're making DIY bar leather earrings. You can adjust them to the height that you want. I mean, that's the beauty of DIY jewelry anyway, is that you can get the right design and the right size and the right shape um, to match your personal style. So again, I hope that you um, found it interesting. You may already be using leathers like this that you have bought from other places. Etsy does make a lot of great leather. I think scraps is just such a great way to buy into leather because it's so inexpensive. Like you can just look at this pack and just kind of estimate now that you've seen me use a piece, how many earrings you can make out of one piece. I cannot wait to do this one. I'm going to do some uh, kind of leaf shaped earrings with fringe. That's gonna be one of my next projects. So I'm really excited to do that one. Um, but once you see these, you can just see how many earrings you can get out of a box of assorted scraps like this. And so I'm going to link this up in my comments. When you get to Amazon and you see this kit, you will see there are other kits as well, different sizes, different poundages. Um, I'm only going to link the one that I'm showing here, um, but sometimes you'll even see in some of the different kits, if they're the same maker, some of the same pieces are there. You may get more of it, or you may just get incremental designs. So hope it was, hopefully this was helpful. If it was, I'd really appreciate it if you take just a second and give me a thumbs up in the video. If you're new to this channel, you should check out my videos. I make a lot of DIY faux leather and leather DIY earrings. Um, and so just you can quickly scan my channel videos. I try to make it where they're all the same so you can quickly just scan down and find the one you like and watch that video versus getting all creative and changing up my thumbnail every time. I'm really doing it so it's easy for people to find the earring that they wanna make. So I do a lot of earrings. You will see me make a lot of earrings with all of this leather. I cannot wait uh, to use some of it. I still have those of you that have watched my core call. Oh, I'll go ahead and maybe I'll link that up too. Um, I've been having a lot of fun with that cork and making earrings and I have a lot more earrings that I wanna make with that too. So thanks everybody for watching. Have a great day.